Alabama Cooperative Extension System works with community resilience uh, in dealing with natural hazards uh, and man-made hazards. Here along the coast, we deal with a lot of hurricanes, tropical storms, but other communities deal with drought, with tornadoes, and many communities deal with even rainy day flooding. One tool that Extension uses with municipalities to talk about community resilience is the Community Resilience Index. It is a simple snapshot of where a municipality is at that moment in their, in their resilience. It defines or addresses what some needs are, helps them to be able to define those, as well as what they're doing well. It's hard for every city to be an expert in everything. And so to have some of these partnerships that can bring some common information and then tailor it to your community's issues and what you might be dealing with, I think it gives you know, a pretty aggressive, forward-looking city some of the tools to help assess their current situation and then make their plans for the future. Partnerships are important for improving communities because there's such a diverse uh, just array of expertise available in a community. Um, not just the different perspectives, but the different actual uh, knowledge that different people have to bring to the table. Extension can help our communities with tools that have been developed, help them to define what they need to address for their hazard resilience. And partnerships are imperative for that. The community can't do it by itself. Extension can't come in and do it for them. So a lot of community resilience is communication and partnerships with stakeholders and with the municipalities. You know, if you don't have resilient structures, you don't have resilient infrastructure, you don't have a home to come, af come back to after that happens. So, you know, there's so many different aspects between the marina and the docks and the, and the bayfront area and then our inland houses and floodplains that, you know, trying to tie all those together into a cohesive policy of resilience across the board. It's just that's what our citizens expect and it's what we expect as a city. With new deck boards down and especially with the new power pedestals that we've installed, we can now withstand storms a lot better than we ever have been able to before. Everything is portable now. Anything of any real expense, we can get out of here for a storm so that when that storm's over with, we get things right back into place and get right back into business again and continue to provide something for the citizens down here. The current index is geared toward coastal communities and uh, tropical storms, flooding type issues, but it can be easily adapted to address different types of natural hazards, including drought and tornadoes. And I think that any community could take that and work with their local extension agent to help address some of their needs. Thanks to the partnership and the, and the cooperation with Alabama Extension, Fairhope Environmental Advisory Board, the Fairhope Harbor Board, uh, being able to put all these things together and all of the different concerns that we have is just going to help make Fairhope that much more resilient, that much more survivable for any number of different things that we face on a daily basis.